Dean, a heated and tense affair at times, but a great win. You must be delighted. Was on with the victory. Character we showed at the end. Um, Ryan de Havilland made three unbelievable blocks. Danny Collins has as well, and there's just no easy games in this division. I saw um, first half we were caught cold a little a couple of times early. Doors were in the game. They got in behind a, a high line. Um, our distance is just went right, and then we sort of grew into the game um, as it went along. And sort of key moment in the game was when Connor Smith came on, just showed his experience and put his foot on the ball for us. Uh, we slightly changed the system, and it gained us yards. We got more seconds, um, and really from there we controlled the game. Apart from the last sort of 10 minutes, um, it's not a good habit to be getting in when you're two 0 up, to be getting into and to see uh, the next goal. So. We should be enjoying the game when we're tuning it up or because we've earned the right to do that. So a little bit disappointed with how they scored. But all in all, look if you said to me, victory tonight away at Yeovil on a Tuesday night. After oh. being a gated on Saturday, I would have snapped your hands off. 100%. Now obviously your team was unchanged from the game at Gateshead. What was your thinking behind making no changes? Um, I just think the boys have done well, to be fair to them. Um, you have to earn the right to get in the team. It's as simple as that. Um, I know a lot of the players, I've worked with some of them before, so I, just, I thought our wide players you know, would have penetrated them a little bit better. F did, that Shields not as much today, um, not as much as he has in the last couple of games. So what all I can say is about everything, all the players have given their all, and that's the key. Everyone's going to be needed. Harley hasn't got on today, he might be needed Saturday. It could be his two on Saturday, so every player we're going to, we're going to need, and uh, the, the players just keep going to the line, and that's all I've ever asked them. You said just there that obviously Gateshead last week at the weekend, Yeovil tonight. Does that take a real impact on your squad and on your players travelling from one end of the country to the other in quick succession? Yeah, it's a ridiculous journey, really. You know, we've gone to Newcastle today. It took us seven hours on Friday, and um, yeah, it's, it's tough. But that's the division. That's the division we're in, and uh, you know. So at the end of the day, the fixtures come out the way they come out. We've got to play everybody twice, and you know, all we can do is play the, uh, play the next game. And Laurie Walker in that first half especially made some unbelievable saves. Will you be disappointed at some of the chances that you conceded um, and that you were forced in, Laurie was forced into making some of those saves? Yeah, of course, yeah. But that's his job. <laughs> you know, he's a good goalkeeper, he's an experienced goalie, that's his job. And he made it difficult for, the, for their forwards who played on the shoulder today to beat him. So uh, I don't expect anything else from Laurie, really, to be honest. But ideally, we don't want people looking down the barrel of our goal. I'm not, you know, we sort of sorted out at half time. It didn't happen as much in the second half. Um, so, look, at the end of the day, we've come here and won, so that's all that matters. Amazing. And obviously, a return to Hewish Park for your skipper. What did you make of the reception you got from the from the Yeovil faithful? So I got good reception early doors. Uh, early doors were in the game, you know, when he, when he called his name out in the Tannoy before when the team selection. Of the old supporters were really appreciative, so good of them. But in the end, you know, it's a spicy game. A lot of tackles made um, both ways. Um, I thought the referee handled the game really well. I have to be honest with you. I thought Gary handled the game really well. And, uh, and it was a spicy game, but that's what we're in, all in the for. We all want to win, so we've got a good performance. When he got booked, I just, I just don't want to take no risks, uh, especially when the pitch is zippy and that. And, um, one, one late tackle, like getting the wrong side of a midfielder, and he would have been off. So. so did that lead to your decision to take him off? Yeah, that's the main reason, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Just where the conditions are. Yeah. Yeah. Talking a little bit a bit more into the goals, brilliant first goal uh, from the Canberra, but I think the real standout moment there was the, the run from Mason Clark out on the, the right wing. What did you make of that? Yeah, we spoke at half time about obviously stretching their defence and getting Efron and races with them. Connor Smith, little trigger pass around the corner, he's played a great pass. So his experience showed when he came off the bench. I really thought that was a massive, a massive turning point in the game. It gave us more control of the game with the ball and without it as well. We got more second balls. Great run from F, and he's crossed it early. Nicky's got across the front. Great run, great goal. And the same with the, with, with the second goal. We got you know another trigger ball. Nicky set up the play. He spun in behind. Pritchard's done brilliant. And what a finish! So two, two great finishes. Amazing. Two goals from Nicky tonight. Is he going to put any rumours to bed that we need another striker? Or can he lead this team to greatness? Nah, look, we need another striker, we know that. We've just got to make sure we bring, bring in the right players to our football club. We're not going to sign anyone willy-nilly. They have to be able to do what, what, what the team needs. Um, so, yeah, 
we'll see who comes along. We're in the market for a few. Let's see what happens. Amazing. Now, obviously, Moose is injured at the moment. Are you able to shed any light about his injury as to how long we can expect to we, we see don't, him out? We don't know how long it's going to be. He's having a test again tomorrow. Um, we're very lucky that we're blessed, really, that our chairman's got you know tick health and the facilities that we've got there and the showing clinic and stuff like that. He's getting the best of care, the best that you can get in the world, to be honest with you. So let's hopefully uh, we'll get to the bottom of what's going on with Musa uh, sooner rather than later. Um, so yeah, I'll find out. Hopefully, find out by the end of the week. Amazing. And obviously, we had a, a good number of Bees fans here tonight, and I think as a football supporter, that's the performance you want. It was tough at times. It was it was nerve wracking, but the result was fantastic. What are you going to say to the supporters who are currently in the car home? But for the team, we have to earn the right to win football matches. They were a 12 man today. At times, making blocks, getting behind us. And uh, I think they showed that we've got a lot of character and we're cranking togetherness. And winning football matches does that. But all in all, you know, they come to the gate edge of the day in their droves as well. And uh, there's a nice feel good factor around the place. But it only comes from togetherness, hard work, nothing else. And uh, I think we're all doing that. Finally, and we go into the weekend with another fixture. This time at home, fortunately, I'm sure for you guys. What do you want to see? on Saturday that you didn't necessarily see today or against Gateshead last weekend? I think it'll be a different game Saturday. Saturday plays a different way. I know him personally really well. So they've got a lot of experience in the back line. Um, obviously Reese Gregor Cox was on loan was last year. I don't know how they've got on tonight. He scored for them at the weekend. So there's no easy games in this division. So we'll take it on its merit. And we'll show them a little more respect. We've got to play the way we play. Dean, as always, thank you so much. Up the Bees.